Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today the road brings me to, again, the middle of nowhere. I am out in the desert, not too far from Alamo, Nevada, and we are at Ryan Hinge. This is a place that's also known as Stonehenge, which was, was built by an individual, and we're gonna find out why, as well as look at some other things here. And we'll get started right after this station identification. Now I know in Georgia there was something put up called the Georgia Guidestones. Now this is entirely different. This is something similar to the Stonehenge in England, but this was a, put up as an entirely different purpose. This is a calendar. It's called Ryan Hinge 2017. And here it is. Williams Family Stonehenge is a solar calendar based on the sun's position at sunset. When the sun sets in the center of any two columns, it is the 21st of that month. The 21st day of each month was chosen because the solstice and equinox generally fall on this day. They say to have the sun reveal the date to us, come at sunset and wait for the sun to disappear behind the mountains. Standing in the center of the circle, you'll find the sun is setting and look up at the lentils and see what month it is. If it's disappeared in the center of the lentil, it's the 21st. If it's disappeared in the center of the column, it's around the fifth of the month. Well, this is early in the morning and I'm not gonna hang out till the sun sets down. So you can see this place is large. and it various places between these stones. There's December, January, November, February, October, March and September, and chisel or painted in the stone is the continents. and I will share some more information with you. Not too far up the road is the extraterrestrial highway. This structure was built with concrete and reinforced with rebar. The floor was in place in 2014. It has a diameter of 120 foot. Mike started forming the vertical columns in the fall of 2017. Each column is two foot thick, 13 foot tall, and has two foot lentils at the top. There are lights at each of the base of the columns that during the night, these things light up in different colors. So Stonehenge, Ryan Hinge, it's no mystery, no witches, no hocus pocus. It's just a simple solar calendar. Now as to the aliens, I don't know. These rail cars were purchased by the owners of Ryan Hinge from a casino in Las Vegas. These cars were used by Buffalo Bill at his Wild West Touring Exposition, also known as Colonel William F. Cody. This is Wild Bill's personal car. Would have been his living room. And let's see. His bathroom, all stainless steel. His private bedroom. 
traveling all around the West, put it on shows. This was the president, Teddy Roosevelt. This was his sleeping car. This was Teddy Roosevelt's sleeping car. And right next to Teddy Roosevelt was Annie Oakley. It's one of Annie Oakley's room. And of course, I got to imagine traveling down the rails trying to eat off of China. And this is the kitchen that would cook for the president and Wild Bill and Annie Oakley. I think they do all types of programs down through here. I see things that appear that they uh, have lights at Christmas, a little train that goes around uh, some zoo animals. I see a camel out there, how appropriate for out in the middle of the desert. Well, that is gonna be a wrap for our visit to Ryan Hinge here at the uh, middle of nowhere, Nevada. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. But until next time, y'all have a good day.